Let's talk about the forecast, shall we? Because it is cold out there. Not only do we have to deal with that, uh, more snow. It's like we had the snow drought, and now we're getting more than enough cake. Broken right? record. Yeah. Seriously, it's like it's almost like a normal winter. How about that? We're getting these little hits of snow this week. Of course, we had a couple of inches, 3.3 on Monday night into Tuesday. That's what officially fell at the airport. And you know what? I think we could get very close to that again with tomorrow's event. It, I would probably set the over/under in the city right about at that number. So we'll see if tomorrow ends up being more or less. But again, this is not a massive snowstorm. It is not Enough, however, to cause problems out on the roads for your Friday. Both commutes likely impacted. Today, no problems. We are not in alert mode, at least for one day this week. 24 degrees in Philadelphia. It started to warm up a little bit thanks to a south wind. Temps are already moderating. It feels like the teens, but nowhere near as brutally cold as yesterday. So it clouds up through the day. Temperatures getting to the mid 30s, which is on the cold side of seasonable. We should be right around 40 for the time of year. It'll feel like the upper 20s, so much better than yesterday, but still, you will need to bundle up outside. A winter weather advisory has been issued. Starts at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, and it goes through 10 p.m. Likely, it doesn't need to last that long, but we'll see how things develop in the afternoon. Looks like the bulk of the snow will be falling kind of during the midday time frame, late morning into early afternoon. So, clouds and radar right now. You can see a few snow showers here up across the Great Lakes region. We may see a few flakes make their way into the Poconos here today, but otherwise it's these two pieces of energy, this one here and this area, which is swinging in from the north and west, bringing with it some Arctic air. And these two are going to combine and kind of converge on our region tomorrow. There's also a coastal low, which is going to move well offshore, but provides enough moisture thrown back toward the area to produce snow. The other thing it may produce, that coastal low, is some warmer marine air, which will invade the shore points. And along the immediate coast, amounts will be slightly lower because of that. But you can see by about 5, 6 a.m., we start to see light snow or snow showers breaking out tomorrow. 7.30, it's still relatively light. It kind of starts like the last storm, where it starts off light with some light accumulations. And then it does pick up in intensity as the day goes on. So 9.30, you can see the brighter shading here around the city and nearby suburbs. That continues through the noon hour, and it's coming down at the shore, but there may be some mixing there. By about 3 or 4 o'clock, it does start to wind down. Now, there may be some bands that try to set up even later in the evening, so certainly not discounting the possibility that this could last a little bit longer into your Friday evening. So our forecast snow totals, about a general 2 to 4 inches all across the region. The only spot that may see slightly lower amounts would be the immediate shore points where there may be some mixing. I st still think you'll pick up an inch or 2 inches there, but there also could be some local pockets of over four inches. Doesn't look all that likely to me right now, but there will be the chance, especially if we do get a few heavier bands that set up and don't budge for quite some time. Behind that system, again, we get another dose of two, three, four inches of snow, and it's followed by bitter wind chills. By 3.30, you can see wind chills are in the low 20s outside tomorrow as the snow begins to taper in the evening, but just after midnight, feels like temps in the single digits. And when you wake up Saturday morning, it is going to feel like near zero again. And that's going to last for most of the day. Tomorrow is a lot like yesterday, or I should say Saturday, a lot like yesterday, where we have feels like temperatures not much better than the single digits and low teens all day long. So next weather alert on Saturday is because of the cold. Tomorrow is, of course, because of the snow. Sunday, still cold, but it's bright. And then we do start to warm up to the 40s early next week.